In this later feeder, we're going to learn why you should stop complaining about the other shift. Do the employees on your shift complain about the previous shift? And do you join in on that complaining? It can be frustrating to try and get your shift up and running when the previous shift has run down the inventory or left the department messy for you and your team. Before you join in on the chorus of complaints, use those complaints about the other shift to motivate your team to leave the department the way they would like it left for them. Consider it to be like the golden rule where you treat others as you would like to be treated. Once you've got your shift running smoothly and leaving it good for the next, then you can approach the leader of the other shift and ask for them to give your shift the same courtesy. The law of reciprocation is that when you do something nice for someone else, they will be inclined to do something nice for you. Remember, make a commitment to stop complaining and instead focus on setting the example for the other shift to follow. Once you've learned how to get your team to stop complaining about the other shift and instead set things up for success, you might decide to invest in other ways you can develop your leadership skills. Remember, you can check out our on-site workshops, our public workshops, or one of the many resources that we offer by visiting us on our website at uniquedevelopment.com. And if you're so inclined, you can connect on social media, on LinkedIn, Twitter, or on Facebook by searching us out at Frontline Leader. That Leader Feeder was brought to you by the Frontline Leadership 2-Day Program. Whether you have us deliver it on-site or you just send people to our public workshop, the two-day program covers all the essential skills every frontline supervisor, manager, or team leader needs to be more effective. To inquire and to see where the course is being offered or to arrange for it to be delivered on-site, visit us online at uniquedevelopment.com.